It's deep-rooted, our need for heroes. For humans who do superhuman things. People who have a touch of the god about them. Odysseus, Achilles, Alexander. Titans of the classical world made immortal across the centuries by poetry and art. But our first national hero was no prince, but a diamond in the rough. He was a tough young thug. You have to think of him as a kind of sort of yobbo apprentice, maritime, hit and run thief. <laughs> thief of the ocean was what he was. His name is still known to us all. Francis Drake. The most audacious of sea captains who lifted gold, silver and slaves from the Spanish Atlantic Empire. Essentially a state-sanctioned pirate. But what began as piracy turned into global epic. From that pillar's post, raging comes what turns into an epoch-making historical moment, the achievement of the round-the-world voyage and Drake returning home with more treasure than anyone could possibly have imagined. And this is part of the reason why he is an instantaneous fantastic hero. He's not some sort of learned geographer. He's a man of action that makes him the first genuine, heroic, famous Englishman. A face people want to see. Drake's exploits raised him up from his humble beginnings. But his fame was also carefully cultivated by those governing the embattled Elizabethan state. They saw how a popular hero could inspire the country in the fight against Spain. But the real cult of the hero existed in images much less grand than this one. Portable portraits were dispatched across the continent to unsettle the enemy and win allies. A very